One of my favorite couch co-op games from my childhood is Kirby Air Ride, so it was really just a matter of time before I looked into what a speedrun of this game would look like. Speedrun.com lists a couple of different categories like Air Ride All Tracks, Top Ride All Tracks, and of course 5 Hot Dogs Percent, which you guys may remember from my meme speedrun series. But the category that really drew my attention was City Trial Any Percent. City Trial is a free-for-all mode in which you collect power-ups and vehicle upgrades in the city for an allotted amount of time, and afterwards use those upgrades to compete in the stadium challenge against your opponents. But it was news to me that this mode was even beatable in the first place, and that an any percent category existed. So in today's video, I'd like to explain how this category works, how the world record recently got beaten as of a week ago, and of course, what the unluckiest speedrun of this category looks like. I hope you all enjoy. City Trial Any% percent is defined as completing 100 out of 120 various objectives in the game's checklist. The 100th checkbox will unlock the credits for this game mode, which is how the category got its Any% percent definition. These objectives range from collecting X of a certain item to finishing stadium events in a certain amount of time. The bulk of the speedrun is spent in the city, as most objectives can only be completed there, and the other portion is spent completing stadium events, which are seen after each city. Out of the 8 stadiums in the game, there are 6 that are absolutely required for any percent speedruns. These are Air Glider, Destruction Derby, Drag Race, High Jump, Kirby Melee, and Target Flight. Each of these stadiums that are needed to complete the run are only unlocked if they show up after a city, which depends on luck. Through some digging in the game's code, it was found that every stadium game has weight to it, meaning some stadiums are more common to get than others. What's interesting is that there's a method to effectively eliminate stadiums from this list, therefore increasing the probability of rolling required stadiums. This method was found in June of 2020 and is known as stadium manipulation. It allows runners to essentially never see certain stadiums and doesn't require any sort of complex trick or a runner being frame perfect of something in order to do it. Runners go to the stadium slider in the game settings, hover over one, and press A to manipulate it out of the stadium domain. By selecting one and returning to the start screen, it adds that stadium to a list of four stored by the game. Then you go back to the game settings again and repeat the process for up to four stadiums in the slider. Since that's the maximum number of stadiums that can be held, the fourth stadium is set to shuffle, which will then choose from the remaining stadiums that aren't eliminated. By default, runners have access to Target Flight, Drag Race, Destruction Derby, and the Shuffle feature. On top of this, runners have the choice to unlock a necessary stadium for free by using a previous save file. The game will store the city trial settings you had before deleting the save file to start the run, and this is allowed by the rules of the speedrun category. So runners can choose to start with Air Glider, High Jump, or Kirby Melee at the start of a run, meaning that they only need to roll on two of those three stadiums at the end of cities. As for the other game settings, time is set to 7 minutes, which is the max, game tempo is set to normal, and events are enabled. There was a discovery found this month by a top Kirby Air Ride speedrunner, Shiro Kirby, who also beat Blue Candy's former world record of 47 minutes and 22 seconds. It's called the Underflowed Item Count Glitch, and it involves collecting three all-up patches in a city, then self-destructing to lose more than three items. The way to do this is to use one Kirby to collect enough of every stat to drop three or more all-up power-ups when you self-destruct. The Kirby underflowing their item count must be player one, therefore you need to collect stats with any of the other three players during the city, then have player one grab the dropped all-ups and self-destruct. Kirby's item count will underflow to the negatives and result in the highest positive values. In this case, it's a 16-bit limit of 65,535. This glitch helps getting more consistent early games, which were otherwise reset heavy before. Now that we understand the basic concepts of City Trial Any% percent, let's dive into the speedrun that inspired this entire video. Hey guys, as a reminder, I'm partnered with PlayStation for this month, and as of the posting of this video, you only have a couple hours left to participate in the Sackboy Big Adventure Speedrun Challenge of the Month, Press for Time, to win those exclusive in-game rewards. Currently, the time to beat to fall under the diamond ranking for the best rewards is a 15.463, which with a bit of grinding, I think anyone can achieve. Unfortunately, the discount codes I provided last video might no longer work because I believe we hit the 2,000 person cap, but also include them in the description if you guys still want to try them out for 50% off. But if you guys were still looking to get this game, it just became available on PlayStation Direct at a heavily discounted price, and that offer will be available until the 14th of October. I'd highly recommend getting this game if you're a fan of 3D platformers, or are just looking for a fun couch multiplayer game to play with your friends and family. This game even supports online play, and you can play with your friends on PS4, even if you're on PS5. To focus back on the speedrun challenge, I've had a handful of you guys come to my stream showing off some impressive top 25 times, 
which is even faster than what I've been able to manage. But if you guys are still struggling to try and get that diamond ranking time, I've included a tutorial in the description by Cookies Monster, who currently has a third place time. Since my last video, I've actually managed to get another personal best, which might be my final time for the challenge, which is what you're watching in the background. It's been a pleasure working with PlayStation, and of course playing Sackboy for this month. Anyways guys, thanks for listening, good luck with the challenge, and I hope you all enjoy the rest of the video. On our weekly show Speedrun Saturdays, we feature some cool speedruns that you don't really get the opportunity to see anywhere else. For this week of the show, we brought in Blue Candy to show off Mario Golf Toadstool Tour and Kirby Air Ride since he's a world record player for both games. But his Kirby Air Ride speedrun ended up being the worst speedrun he's ever had in all of his playtime of the game, so it was hilarious that this occurred on our live show. As a side note, the speedrun used the old route, which was before the underflowed item glitch was found. Runners started with a stadium such as Kirby Melee, Air Glider, or High Jump before the start of a run. Blue Candy went with Kirby Melee because it's an offensive stadium, meaning that during the city, offensive and defensive power-ups are more likely to spawn, which makes it easier to complete early game checkboxes such as CPU KOs. Once the slider is set to Kirby Melee, he exits out and deletes all game data. After completing the first city, Kirby Melee will be the guaranteed stadium to appear after. After unlocking the freebie, he will complete Drag Race 1 from the stadium menu right off the bat, since there's RNG on the track layout right away, which is whether or not there's a dash panel. This is so Formula Star has enough time to finish the track, which is 17 seconds or under. Once in the first city, Blue Candy just needs Air Glider and High Jump. He'll use Stadium Manipulation to get these two stadiums in the shuffle feature. Once this is achieved, he can then switch over to Drag Race as the selected stadium in order to get Drag Race 2 and 3, which is a 1 in 3 chance to get either of them specifically. Lastly, he can switch to Destruction Derby for a 50-50 shot at Destruction Derby 2. However, he rolled this earlier in the run, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but that stadium roll could have been something far more useful. Overall, his stadium luck was below average, as he had rolled 4 single stadium games which are not useful in a run. His cities were about average in terms of completed objectives, except for the checkbox that requires players to drink 3 or more energy drinks. Normally this would be required in any percent route, but it ultimately wasn't meant to be. Not all was lost though, he was able to substitute this objective by completing the checkbox and pick up a total of over 1000 items but this was at the cost of a lot of time being lost due to one stadium refusing to appear. All right, we want Drag Race 3, correct? Drag Race 2 or 3. We okay. need both of them, unfortunately, so we have to keep going until it shows up. All right, there's one. All right. So we just need Drag Race 3. Cross fingers that that was Drag Race 3. Come there on. is a specific stadium prediction for it, so if it shows me a prediction, the dude's saying stuff, I can tell whether or not it'll be Drag Race 3, so we'll, we'll take a look. We've had certain random events spawn oh, baby. in. Yep. Drag Race oh. 3. Come on. We've done all that. Oh, uh. what? Yeah, so there's no list. There's no list for these drag races. Once you've only got... Uh, it's only for the shovel feature, so... This is just literally a straight 1 and 3. So whether or not we can have a marathon-friendly run is... You know, it's up to the game. Alright, come okay. on. Come drag on. Race 3. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> this is annoying. But yep, that's what the speedrun is. And that's why, probably why GDQ doesn't accept it. But eventually... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love it when you submit it, like, well, it could be 50 minutes. I give them an hour and a half. <laughs> you know? One more minute till we get to try again on the roulette. It's just a one in oh, three, God. man. I, I swear. It's just one in three. There's nothing else to it. So just guys, yep. you really gotta want it. It's it's really on you, okay? <laughs> it is on you. If you, you don't see Drag Race 3, you're not trying hard enough. You need to manifest your energy here. <laughs> here he's oh wearing my God, a nice hat. Yeah, he's wearing a nice hat. <laughs> I've never done that before. <laughs> he looks so stylish. I'm sorry, I don't want it. That's the energy that's gonna make this a Drag Race 1. <laughs> right? Oh, oh, you no! dick, you ruined it. See what you did. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, we're, we're stuck here in, a, in an infinite loop. <laughs> it's still possible to beat my 118 marathon time, though. Believe it or not. But it has to happen this time. The cosmic rays are off, guys. If you took That's... Dragoon, it would have been Drag Race 3. I know. Mm. Yeah, I'm mm. sure it was that one little difference. <laughs> Actually, it's decided the moment you enter the city, so... No matter what I did in the city, it would still be Drag Race 1. <laughs> well, don't tell them that. Let them, oh, yeah, let, them, yeah. let them believe. 
<laughs> I gotta keep the illusion. Oh, he's real happy. All right. Come my on, baby. Now. Don't do me like this. Unbelievable. What is going on? <laughs> oh, wow. All right, well, I'll give it another shot. And then how about this? We'll do all of the stadium games. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll have a cutoff of 1.30, right? How about that? I'm not gonna stay in the cities till 1.30. We'll do like two more cities, and then we'll come back and see if we can get that last one to show up. And the, the problem with Drag Race 3 is that Drag Race 3 unlocks Drag Race 4, which has four more checkboxes. So Drag Race 3 has four checkboxes, and Drag Race 4 has four as well. So there's literally eight checkboxes riding on getting this thing to show up. And it's a straight up one and three right now that we just cannot seem to satisfy. Um, Somebody so in chat said, show off the secret flowers. The secret flowers, yeah, I could do that. Uh, I don't know what that is. Yeah, about 13 seconds left. Here's one of them. <laughs> and I don't think I have enough so glide. So secretive. To... Might have just oh my barely gosh. enough glide. There it is. Oh that. my gosh! <laughs> Two secret flowers are in City Trial, just little Easter Come eggs. on, baby! What? No. <laughs> Alright. This is so dire. Alright, one more try at it. Come on. Okay, Drag he's a gambling man! Come on, Come on, let's on. see it. Come on, baby! Three, no way! Three, Come on! Ah, uh, Dude! dude. <laughs> the upset! Oh no! <laughs> well, let's do some stadium games in the meantime, then, yeah. shall we? All right, so I'll go ahead and do the free run strategy here, and we'll go ahead and then we'll see. We'll see if Drag Race Three will show up. <laughs> We're gonna go back to it. Just hide in the golf hole. It's un it's really unbelievable to see this. This is just a one in three chance, and it just never it just doesn't Come on. happen. Yeah. Come on. Oh my god, dude! dude. Oh my god! <laughs> We're come literally on. just going. Come on! What the hell? <laughs> oh. If you want an explanation right. for why this estimate is one hour and thirty minutes, when the world record is forty-seven minutes, um, this is why. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing else to say about it. This is why. We this are down up. bad. <laughs> This is suit. This is down tremendous right now. Right. God, End the pain. Please. End the pain. For the one time, one time. Please. Dude, what? There's just, no, there's just no way. Oh my god. At this point, guys, you have to keep watching just to see how bad the RNG gets. From here, yeah. it can only get worse. All right, guys. All right, now, after this one, we'll do another prediction. Uh, assuming, assuming this isn't Drag Race 3. That was uh, Drag Race 1. A simple straight How? course. That means Drag Race 1. Drag Race 2 says, um, it says, I see a straight long no course or something like way. that. No way. Yeah. So that was yet another. <laughs> no way. The prediction for Drag Race 3 starts with A, the letter A. A faster vehicle or a faster vehicle would give you an advantage or something like that. That's Drag Race 3. So we have to get the guy to say that. Do you think it. you're getting you're getting close to a PB for like having yeah. bad RNG? Yeah. If this um, isn't already. My first run I ever completed of this category, like when I was still a noob and I didn't know what I was doing, was a 142. So <laughs> we're coming up on that real fast. And that was my first ever run. That's how bad this is. If I can't even beat my first ever run just because RNG won't let me. Nice. 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 So that just makes it slightly easier coming up, right? Yep. It actually makes me like confident that I can finish it because I feel like I'm one off for some reason. I kind of want to see what I was missing. <laughs> but now I'm not one off. Oh my god. Oh my god. So. Don't show this to GDQ if we still want this to get into GDQ. No, they'll never, they'll never yep. see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, you, here we go, guys. Come on, just once, dude. Here we go. Dude. <laughs> you guys are attached. Let me just say, attached. Yeah. Uh, do oh, definitely, definitely. Oh, there it is. There it is. Like, oh my god. Wait. Yeah, Did a faster get, machine. Oh my gosh, she got it. If it's got not it's wrong. Over. 
If it's not wrong, Wait, we should see Drag Race 3. Holy All right. crap, that it was... should be coming uh, up. One minute till we find insane. out. That was insane. One out of 230 chance for this to not be Drag Race 3. There's no way. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> There's just no way! <laughs> that was one out of 230. This game is actually bugged. <laughs> I, I swear to you, a faster machine, that is Drag Race 3. You can check it if you want. Do your own science. That w That is the prediction for Drag Race 3. We saw it on the screen, right there. What happened here is that the game fooled us into thinking that we would see Drag Race 3 after the city. One of the in-game events that can take place is Stadium Prediction, which basically predicts what stadium will appear after the end of a city. Every stadium has a unique message, and this message was the one for Drag Race 3. However, there's a 10% chance that any stadium prediction is incorrect. When it's incorrect, the message can be for any of the other 23 stadiums, anything like Destruction Derby 2, King DDD, and so forth. Blue Candy got the Drag Race 3 prediction in particular, which is a 1 in 23 chance. Combine that number with the low odds of the stadium prediction being incorrect, and this is a 1 in 230 chance that he got baited. Now can you say that this is your worst luck ever? Now can you officially say this is the unluckiest run that you've ever had? Yes. <laughs> this is the worst run I've ever seen. <laughs> I have never seen RNG this bad. This is unbelievably bad. Hey guys, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you like the stream. Pre press, press the like button, make number go up. Yeah. Thank you, thank you very much. I was memeing, honestly. I was memeing. I was memeing that it would be wrong. I was like, yeah, there's like a 1 out of 230 chance. It has to give you that specific message, because when you get a wrong stadium prediction, it could be any of the other ones. It could say we're fighting yeah. King DDD for all I... Like, it could be any of them. And it chose the one we were looking for. So I mean, there's no way there's something, like, yeah. bugged. There's, there's just... Nope. It, it, what? There's nothing... I'm. There's nothing different about this than any other attempt. I, it's not on a list or anything. There's nothing like that. Like... I didn't put it on a have list. You, have you done something matter. bad recently? Like, are, are you outside <laughs> yeah. of streaming? Like, how, what do you do? <laughs> My karma. All right, come on. Yes, let's go! I'm freaking believable, dude. All right. Uh. And there it is. He finally got Drag Race 3 on his 14th attempt. And it's a 0.51% chance to not get a specific Drag Race 13 times in a row. 149, uh, 41, although it's probably not accurate, but, uh, yeah. Right, that, that's close enough. For this run, does it really hours. matter? Are you serious? Sub two hours. The worst there run I've is. ever done. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to leave a like as it's the best way to show support. Unfortunately, we no longer run Speedrun Saturdays as a weekly show, but we do plan to bring it back for bigger events. And if this video gets 5k likes, we'll do a speedrun marathon of every single Shrek video game. I also want to give a huge shout out to Blue Candy for not only coming on our show that day and taking the bad RNG like a champ, but also for helping us so much with research. Currently he's been on the grind to reclaim his Kirby Air Ride world record, so I'd greatly recommend checking out his stream to see if and when he finally pulls that off. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have for today's video. Make sure you all subscribe for more speedrunning related content, and as always, I hope you all have a beautiful life.